During the coronavirus lockdowns, many Brits have gotten so desperate for entertainment that they have taken up gardening. And some of them are being rewarded for their efforts with more than a new flower bed. Now, proof that gardening can be beneficial in more ways than you might think. A family from the New Forest discovered this hoard of gold coins while doing a spot of weeding. The British Museum says it's one of a string of finds recorded during the first lockdown in the spring. It's thought the coins would have been worth, wait for it, the equivalent of £14,000 in today's money. How good would that be to discover that in your garden? Imagine finding a hoard of gold coins while you're gardening. I'll tell you what, that's the end of gardening. Man, forget these rhubarbs, I'm rich! But you know, this is just one of the benefits of living in the UK. Because anytime I dig for treasure in New York, I just end up in my downstairs neighbor's apartment. <sighs> Sorry, Jerry, looks like I did it again. Also, there's just so much more buried treasure in Britain because it's an old country with thousands of years of civilization. Gardeners in America would be like, wow, a can of new Coke from 1985. The history books speak of such things. So congratulations to that British gardening family for their find. Although they should be careful. The original owner might be coming back for that money. You never know. Next week, the dad will open the door and see an ancient knight standing there. Whither is my treasure? You're looking at it. I got myself a butt lift. And archaeologists have discovered a giant 2,000-year-old figure of a cat carved into a hillside in southern Peru. They found the 121-foot-long cat using a drone inside a UN World Heritage Site. Officials say that the cat figure was barely visible when it was first discovered since it was on a slope and disappearing due to erosion. The carving has since been cleaned to make it more visible. Wait, wait, wait. There was a giant cat carved into the hillside for 2,000 years and we just discovered it now? How is that possible? Well, well, was it hiding behind a drawing of a sofa? I mean, I'm not trying to put anybody down. But whichever archaeologist found this thing had a very easy day of work. Think about it. Indiana Jones is inside tombs. There's death traps triangulating sunlight with ancient amulets. Meanwhile, this dude is just like, hey, look, it's a big cat. I'm an archaeologist. It's also funny how even 2,000 years ago, people loved sharing cat pictures. Because, I mean, what this hill basically is, is ancient Peruvian Facebook. I'm sure if the archaeologists look further down, they're gonna start finding QAnon conspiracy theories. Uh, apparently, Joe Biden built the Incan pyramids. But please, don't get me wrong, I'm not hating. That is an impressive work of art. And it just goes to show you that even 2,000 years ago, people had a hard time drawing the legs. They should be so easy, but they're not. You think you got them, and then you get there, and you're like, God, these are not legs. Uh, I hope my parents love me because they're just gonna have to take this picture the way I drew it. People in Egypt digging up history dating back more than 2,000 years. Archaeologists are showcasing more than 100 coffins found in a huge burial ground. Each sarcophagus and coffin is painted with intricate carvings. X-rays show mummified bodies inside. A lot of the individuals buried in these are members of high-class Egyptian society, so their coffins were higher quality with more elaborate designs. They're going to go on display at Egypt's Grand National Museum next year. Wait, they just happened to find a hundred coffins? And now I'm sure that they're gonna need money to study these coffins? I don't know, guys. Sounds like a typical pyramid scheme. By the way, I love how grave robbing is okay if you just call yourself an archaeologist. Because that's what these guys are doing, right? They're robbing graves. The only difference is they're wearing a weird hat, so then it's okay. Because imagine if you saw some guy digging up your grandma. Hey! Hey, stop that, man! That's my grandmother's grave! Uh-uh-uh! I'm wearing the hat!